All right, and we're back. Uh, welcome back to Table ta Terrible Table of Terror. Man, if I could just spit that out one time. That's a hard one. Through, that I just, that's why awesome. I decided to stick to Triple T. We're just gonna we're just gonna have to practice that. Terrible Table of Terror. Tell Tip 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 Tip. To the, the table. <laughs> welcome back to the table. We're playing the feud. Um, this is uh, Dying Light, episode two, I believe. Episode two. Think we're on yeah. episode two. Yeah. I'm um, so yeah, we're still smack dab in the middle of just the longest tutorial ever conceived. Um, that could be my impatience talking. I'm not entirely no, sure. No, it's pretty long. Okay, well we get to change clothes now. Oh sweet. That has nothing to do with running or killing zombies. Well, I could do fresh clothes. I could put on this ninja outfit. Oh, you have a sweet ninja. What's the special agent outfit? Oh, little John. What is Mikey? Urban Explorer? Oh, I'll definitely go with ninja outfit. Well, right now I have to complete the prologue, so I have to just put on oh. fresh clothes. <laughs> I would say the ninja outfit is pretty fresh. I would say so too. I mean, on a scale of one to fresh, it's definitely towards the top. Uh. There's the secret headquarters door. Super secret. I'm gonna spell it out with my person. <laughs> e. C. It's hard. Alright. <laughs> <R. laughs> uh, this way. A little one. And another big one. And then a. T. Yeah, secret headquarters. That's where it is, guys, in case anybody was... Don't Ooh. tell anyone, though, because it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> uh, Alright, so what are you, are you... Is the whole tutorial just in this building? Yeah. Oh! Uh, no. No? No, you eventually oh, okay, got this is This is the last part of the building. This is the, where you learn how to do you the parkour. You to jump out of the crane? Yes. Yeah, this is where you do, like, oh, man. parkour. Things are falling. And then Things are falling. you start going out. Cool. Yeah. And then you have to like not. Nah, you have to find some. Don't turn into a zombie juice, right? Yeah. Remember okay. to look at the ledge you want to grab. Okay. I know. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Look where you want to go. Yeah. Oh man, the guy from uh, Uncharted Four, the white, the white ledge painter, must have uh, moonlighted in this game. I still game. have not played that. You really need to play that for sure. Grab it. Look at the ledge you want to grab. They just said that. <laughs> Yeah, I do remember really This play. does feel like uh, Mirror's Edge. All right? The momentum isn't quite the same. They did a really good job in Mirror's Edge of, like, showing the momentum as you were running, which was really cool. God, that game is good. We should play that. Yeah, I, sure. I haven't played the second one. I haven't played the first one since it came out. Oh, man, you're missing out. It's probably super cheap on Steam, too. I'll check it out. Catalyst is good. It's getting a lot of hate because it's very, like, fetch questy. Uh, Especially like the side missions, but I didn't play any of the side <laughs> missions. I just played the story, and that was actually pretty good. There was a lot of running and jumping, which is that's what you wanted. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. So, oh, he's fine. This is a giant mattress. On a crutch. It's garbage. Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Holy shit. Holy shit. Thank God that wasn't hypodermic needles. <laughs> Infected again. <laughs> well, now I have. Now I'm a zombie and also have herpes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now I'm gonna be the most effective zombie ever. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, let's just go run. What? Come on over here. Come on over here. Do it. I like that the ledges you can grab it right now. Yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta know what kind of ledges you can grab. Right. Yeah. For a noob. Uh oh. You gotta look at the ledge you wanna grab. I did. Well, look at it better. <laughs> look at it better, huh? Yeah. See, like that. So I like that, yeah, it's basically just Mirror's Edge, but they replaced red with yellow. Yeah. And zombies. Right, and zombies. Mm -hmm. 
used to this kind of stuff. I like that the movement seems very deliberate. Right. And it's like tight, like it does feel good for fir first person platforming because normally the, looks that like, gets yeah. messed up a lot. That was the thing, like before, okay. before Mirror's Edge, I had never really played like a third or a first person platformer. Mm -hmm. It had never really occurred to me. But then I was like, oh, this could be like a legit genre. <laughs> right? It's just like I said, it can be hard to do. Your controls have to be like. Well, yeah, and you have to know what you're doing, otherwise you just die a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, like, dying in Mirror's Edge was terrible because there was, like, you were always falling from a really high height. Right. So it was always, like, there was the whooshing of the wind, and then there was a <laughs> <laughs> at the end, which just broke your heart every time you did it. It's like, oh, Faith, I'm so sorry. she's broke. <laughs> like, all of her. And it was my fault. A real Humpty Dumpty situation. On yeah, it's just... <laughs> all the King's Horses and all the King's Men are not going to cut it on this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. we go. It's like the only other game that really made me do that was like the, the deaths oh, of this the new Tomb Raider. Oh, you're zombieing out. On a crane, no big deal. I'm going to fall to my death. Rahim, oh, you'll be alright. Oh, oh, good! A seizure! <laughs> I'm only a thousand meters up. Seizure's fine. <laughs> this is the best time to have one. Why is, is that your stamina meter? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. You, like, lose it when that happens. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. I feel like seizures are probably Make pretty heavy run. draw on your stamina. I can't remember. I mean, I've never had a seizure personally, me but neither. I would assume that... Oh, this way looks good. Yeah, they probably take a lot out of you. What are you looking at? Are you I'm right here! <laughs> I forgot I have to hit the talk button. Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zeta. <laughs> it's a nagging zombie infection. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna kill you quite yet, but I just wanted to let you remember I was here. Yep. Right. Use the elevator to get to the ground floor. Oh, too far down. I need to remember. Okay, secret headquarters is on 19. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, now I get to go outside and crack some zombie skull. All right. If I remember right. Cool job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say. You're in the slums. So far, so good. Nobody expects I'm not who I say. Let me just say that out loud. <laughs> to everyone. No big deal. Uh, Hi, dude. Oh, the exit's that way. Oh, you're the I need to get a weapon. Oh, good call. I'm not going out there on our Are you serious? Have you played Dead Rising 3? Not 3. I've played it's 1 and 2. Interesting. I was a big fan of 1. That yeah. was a very good, like... That was the game I would play when I wasn't playing the game I was playing. Yeah, okay. Like, because it was just like... Spawn into a ball and kill some zombies <laughs> for a couple hours just to, like, unwind. Just kill some time. It's a very good unwind game. Yeah. Uh... Two, I didn't feel so much that way because there was always, like, you had to find the Zombrex for What's-Her-Face. Right. Uh, and that was a little annoying. Uh, three kind of goes back to that, except that it's just, like, in a whole city. And you play as, like, a completely different protagonist. Well, two, you were different. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, just like two kind of felt the same. Yeah, okay. It had a very similar feel to the first one, but with, like, more... his name was Chuck. <laughs> Fair enough. See, I really, I really enjoyed Frank. He covered wars, you know. <laughs> but yeah, three is kind of interesting. You play as like a younger kid who's just like really good at building stuff, right? So that's how you like craft your weapons, which was a lot of fun. Uh, it was interesting. All right, let me out. That's one that could be fun to play. 
Okay, well, we chill. Yeah, it's locked. You knew I was coming out. You're just gonna let me try the door first. Well, yeah. I mean, hazing. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay, so this game has a cool mechanic too. Like when night comes, the zombies get better. They get like faster, harder, and stronger. And stronger, yeah, it's better, better to just like run. So like when you're like stuck outside at night, like it's just like it's just running. You're like in such a panic mode. Running, running, oh, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running. I hurt myself. Whack! That scared me. Put some clothes on. You are indecent. Wow, they took a lot of hits. Yeah, I'm out of stamina. That's cool. Yeah, you get better weapons later. And then I would hope so. There's one that's like Do an axe. Have to fight all of them? No, I can totally just book it. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah, just just leg it. There's one that's like an Excalibur kind of thing. Like there's like a lake, and you can like swim out to the middle. Oh, that's cool. I gotta remember where the lake is, but that sword you get from that is really good. Yeah, just do that. Swords are cool. And this weapon's already almost broken. Oh, good. I have some repair kits though, but I can't remember how to repair them. Mm. Let's see, I just throw some how to tape on it. In there. <laughs> right? Just tape that shit up. Just duct tape. It's fine. There we go. <laughs> Was that Doom 3 or Quake 4? It was Quake 4 that had the duct tape mod. They, they probably did it in Doom 3 also. But, uh... They called it the duct tape mod, and they just put a roll of duct tape in the first level. And when you pick that up, you taped your, uh... You would tape your flashlight to the end of the shotgun. <laughs> so you didn't have to choose between having the flashlight or having a weapon. That yeah, looks like Donald Glover. A little bit. Are we sure it's not? So there's no cure. It doesn't sound like him. Uh, it sounds pretty African. Oh yeah, he does a pretty heavy. He does have a pretty heavy accent. Well, his computer still works. That's good. There's still power. So I mean, you guys aren't that bad off. Yeah, well, you got, you got to maintain that power. How do you think that happens, man? But this really the zombie pockets which created jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie Apocalypse 2016. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the better option than what's on the table. Jobs are created. The pay really sucks for us. <laughs> well, well, no, actually, the pay's pretty good. What's the pay? You don't die. Yeah, rule zero, man. <laughs> don't be dead. <laughs> So are you not becoming a zombie anymore? Did he cure you? No, there's not a cure yet. There's like this stuff called antizen that like can stave it off. It's like uh, a treatment. Zombrex. But, yeah, but it's not actually like a cure. That's cool. You're working on that. But they didn't. Is that why you got dropped in? Because the guy stole. Because bad guy stole the, the the incomplete formula. Gotcha. All right. Well. But uh, but yeah, there's like this other like group. That um, so like the GRE, which is the company you work for, it's like the global something something. Uh, but they like drop supplies in to the infected city, so like ants in and food and stuff. And there's this other group, not the tower. They like come and steal. Them. It's a real Mogadishu situation going on. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah, so like as you like go through, you'll get to like supply drops. Is Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, <laughs> just Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> he is in everything. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like as you like walk around, you'll um, you'll see uh, like the supply drops coming in. You can get like med kits and stuff from it. Okay, his nose is humongous. All right, let's see if I can remember how to fix my stuff. All right, well, um, I think we're gonna call that for our second episode. Uh, fix stuff. Saga's. On the next episode, Saga's going to try and figure out how to fix stuff. So, uh, thanks for repair. tuning in. Repair. Figuring it out now. And uh, we're going to repair some stuff. Boom. It's fixed. Right. Well, just, yeah, just wait a second. Have a drink. I think we should stop recording.